Hello guys, welcome to my video and this is computer programming video from my channel computer programming. In this video I would like to briefly explain you what is, uh, what technologies you should learn if you want to become a web developer. But before I start I would like to briefly introduce you to web development, tell you what is web development because you before you start web development you should understand what you should learn and to understand what you should learn you should understand what is included in web development in general so web development consists of three parts of three main parts which is front-end web development back-end web development and then there is database development and administration and you can learn any of them at the beginning stage but my recommendation for any web developer who is starting is to start with front-end because anyway if you will go for back-end web development for programming languages like Ruby, Java, uh, Python and so on and so forth you because those are just languages don't mind what, what I just said because I'm just trying to explain you what you should start with so, my recommendation is to start with HTML and CSS. Anyway, if you, are, if you want to enter this area, start with HTML and CSS and learn them separately. Because you will need to understand these technologies if you are involved in web development and you will need to know them inside out. And actually, HTML and CSS is the easiest technologies you could ever learn in this industry because they are pretty much not programming languages. They don't involve any logic. They are just kind of HTML is hypertext markup language, which is for just in, includes about 80 tags. All websites in the world, in all web, on all internet is built up from 80 tags. 80 HTML tags, maybe about hundreds of tags, but not more than 100 for sure. All websites, whatever website you can access from internet browsers, it is built by HTML. It is actually rendered because web browser, if you know what is web browser, uh, web browsers as Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, so those all are just web browsers and basically they, those are softwares which are built on your computer and they allow you to access uh, they allow you to access uh, internet yes and when they access internet they use http protocol to connect to server and that server delivers back to that browser uh, website and that website can be displayed only in three languages and these languages are html css and javascript that's the only three languages browsers understand and that's front-end web development if you want to learn front-end web development then you should start with html css and then go in javascript html is for defining elements on your page css is for adding style to those elements for example you would write in your script some link to google but how 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 that web browser would be able to understand that that particular line of text because you understand that all programming it's just text basically how would browser understand that that piece of text is a link to google it could under, it, maybe it's just a text which you want to display so we use in html tags to show this that this is text and that's why it's called HTML markup because basically you are using tags and you would use link tag to show hey hey browser this is link this is link to Google this is link to whatever other page so that's what's HTML but CSS is to add style for example you would like to change the color of that link because by default it will be black and how, how could it know if should it be green, blue, yellow, by default it will be black. And if you would want to add style, you would want to change font size, you would want to locate in particular part of your web page, you use CSS. And you, CSS is for styling and for laying out these HTML elements which you define with HTML. That's in front end. And then comes in JavaScript. And JavaScript is already programming language. And that 
uh, allows us to add actions uh, to those elements. So by default you created element which is link with CSS you added style. This means that now this link is blue and it links to Google or whatever other website. But now you would want this link when when user clicks it for example slide to another part of your web page. How you could do it? JavaScript. JavaScript adds all these actions, all these sliders which are built on web. So that's all is JavaScript. And jQuery is just a JavaScript library which makes writing JavaScript easier. But uh, idea is that jQuery is the same JavaScript. It's only a big library which is built from JavaScript which allows you to use those functions which are built with JavaScript. So three first languages if you want to start and work on front end. It's HTML, CSS and JavaScript. If you want to work on back end you would need JavaScript but anyway in, in our days you need already JavaScript as well. You will need to learn it. So HTML, CSS is mandatory. It's easiest to learn but it is uh, it is like all web is built on that, so you should learn HTML and CSS. Another thing now, well, let's talk about backend and why we need backend. For example, why would we need to learn some server side scripting language like PHP, for example? So, the idea here is that you learn PHP, and if you didn't know that PHP was the language Facebook, actually, it's still built on Facebook, but some of its advanced features are built on C++ language and so on. But now let's talk about why would you need this backend server language. This is because of data collection. And when you will learn HTML, you will learn how to create forms. For example, contact us form or form where you want contact to get some details from user or registration or login forms. And when you are sub when when you are submitting button, uh, when user is submitting button on your website, for example, imagine you are logging in or creating account on Facebook. You are you are adding your details, so those and you are adding them in HTML form. And when you are click clicking submit button, where that data goes and what is that engine what controls that logic behind? Where should that data go? How should that data be? Uh, controlled and how should it be validated. So that's backend server side language. That collects data, that validates data and then it prepares the data for sending to database. And here we here we go, that's backend. You should pretty much be enough to learn one backend language. But if you will get so far you will want to learn more like I did. I learned about I don't know I haven't really counted, but it's over five backend server languages for sure. And then next thing is uh, where that data gets stored. Obviously, we talked about third thing in web. It is databases, and to learn databases, you should need to go for. Uh, you you should you will be learning. Not you should. We need to go for. But you will be learning SQL, which is structured querying language. And that's all these tutorials I will be creating in my channel. So if you are interested, you just can subscribe and watch all my videos, all my tutorials, as I will be explaining everything from very low level, from the very basics to the high level, so you can work with each technology. If you will watch any of my tutorials, you will see that I am explaining everything in detail because the biggest problem when web programmers or guys who has no experience come into this industry and where they waste most of time is that they don't go through very basics to that's actually me as well when I just started it's when you start programming but you don't include enough time to learn technology from very basics up to the high level like where you understand what is actually involved what tags you could use what, what whatever everything whatever is included in that particular technology because imagine if you buy a new car you sit by the wheel and at the very beginning you just don't understand what all those buttons are mean what all those buttons mean 
and which button would be responsible. You don't even know what is this particular car capable of because you don't know at the very beginning when you see the first time at that car and you start pressing those buttons and start to understand how huh, huh, this may this is for this, this is for this. So programming is to be able to understand that. So first thing you need to do is get get all basics down. Understand in any technology, not only programming, on web development, in any technology you start to learn. Like you start with HTML, finish it, start from the very bottom, go to the very top level. You don't need to remember all those things. You need to know that they are there when you will need them. Because now, in our days, programmers, we are not remembering anymore functions or we are not remembering anything. We just know that this technology is capable of doing this and this and whenever we need function or whenever we need something we just type it in Google. Simple as that. You Google it and you find whatever you need and you use it. But anyway, if you work for a long time with one technology like HTML, CSS, you just become naturally fluent with it. But to learn programming or web development you just need to type, work and work and work follow. I, me, myself, I learned in YouTube. I didn't have any papers when I got my first job. I, I just started and I learned in YouTube. And now, look, I am working as main web developer, graphic designer in very big company. So, yes guys, if you found this video useful, then please subscribe as this is my biggest reward. Comment, leave your comments, like this video, share this video. This all helps me, motivates me to do more of these videos and as obviously ask your questions. I am ready to ask, answer all your questions, whatever you ask to me under my videos. Under any video just ask your questions and I will answer them or I will create a video so I show you whatever you are interested in. Yeah, this is pretty much it for this video and see you in my other videos.